everyone, my name is Liz and welcome to my new channel, Only Polished Nails. Now I started painting my nails rather recently, about a year ago, and I picked up my first polishes in Zoya's Earth Day sale last year. So for my first video, I thought it would be kind of fun to share with you a little haul video of my Zoya Earth Day sale this year, and I've picked up quite a few. So I'm going to go through what I have. Uh, I haven't swatched all of them, but the ones that I do have swatched pictures of, I'll try to pop those up, as well as show any like comparison polishes that I have that might be a little bit similar to ones in my collection. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is Zoe Pixie Dust. Now I picked up my first Pixie Dust um, a couple months ago when Zoe was running a promotion that was um, get four polishes free and you just had to pay shipping. So I picked up Tomoko and I really, really liked it. So I knew in the Earth Day sale I wanted to pick up some more pixie dust. So I got quite a few. The first one I got is um, Zoe. And I really, really love this polish. Uh, it has a nice pink base color with a gold shimmer in there, gold glitter, and then some little tiny hex holographic glitters as well. So this is going to be one of my favorite, I think, polishes for summer this year. I picked up Zoya Vespa. Um, again, this is just a nice light pale green. This one isn't my favorite, but it definitely has that silver shimmer in it that a lot of these pixie dusts have, like Tomoko. I have Zoya Godiva. I have not worn this one yet. Um, I'm not quite sure that this color is great with my skin tone. It does look a little sandy, a little more neutral or grayed out, but we'll see. And Zoya NYX. So NYX, just like Vespa and Tomoko, has that silver shimmer in there that dries when it dries matte. It's really shiny. I think NYX is by far my favorite of the, between these two. Um, normally I do gravitate to greens more, but definitely NYX is better in my opinion. I have Zoya Bay, and this is the same collection, I believe, it's Seashells and Seashores and Seashells, something like that collection that uh, Zoe came from. So it has that same sort of gold shimmer in there, but Bay also has some dark blue glitters and that light blue base. This one actually is not my favorite. I think I took five coats and I still could see my nail lines, so I'll probably be passing this on. And then I also picked up two darker pixie dust as well. I have Zoya Lorna, um, and this one's really pretty. It actually has like the matching gold glitters in it. So instead of the contrasting silver, it has the gold glitters and then Zoya Elfie. So this one I'm really excited to wear at Christmas time. I absolutely love this like forest green sort of color. One more pixie dust and that is Zoya London. This one again is a one, of, one of my favorites of the pixie dust that I picked up. It does have silver shimmer in it but I think that like gray just looks really really chic. It reminds me of like a rainy day so I can't excite. I'm pretty excited to wear this more often as well. I tend more to cream finish polishes than anything else um, but like I said I just started with the pixie pixie dust and I really like the formula so I wanted to pick up a range of colors. So the rest I think are going to be creams except for one. So the first cream I'm going to show you is Anja. It's beautiful dark purple color. Um, I wasn't expecting to like this on its own. I picked this up specifically to do sort of like an ombre manicure that I had seen a couple times on Instagram where you start with like a darker color and then you like work your way up to a lighter purple on your thumb. Um, so Anja I picked up for that purpose and Tara as well. So this is Tara and this is Anja. Um, I've worn Anja by itself and I absolutely loved how it looked. Um, it's very sexy, inky, but still definitely looks purple on the nail, which I prefer. Um, Tara I have not worn yet. You can see just a little bit lighter purple. These are very similar in purple tone to this was the pixie dust I showed earlier, which is Lorna. So, so just so you can get an idea of what those purples look like next to each other. So Lorna, and then Tara in the middle, and then Anja on the end. 
Next, I picked up Normani, and that's actually what I have on my nails today. Uh, Normani, I think, is a good transition color, so good for springtime when it's still sort of cold out. Also, I think it'll look nice in fall. It kind of just reminds me of like a sweater color. I was a little bit hesitant to pick up Normani because I had Petra already, which I really, really loved, but I didn't want things that were too similar to each other. Um, so this is Petra and this is Normani, and you can see side by side, they're really not dupes at all. Um, Petra has a much cooler toned purple to it. Normani is a little bit warmer, a little bit more milk chocolatey. The next cream that I picked up was Zoya Pippa. Um, and Pippa, again, this formula is not very great, which is something that you would sort of expect from a yellow polish. I wanna say I'm looking at about three, maybe four coats with this one to cover up my nail line, um, which is a little bit disappointing. I wish that the formula on this was a little bit better. They recently came out with another yellow in their summer collection called B, I believe it is, B-E-E, -E. but um, it wasn't available in the Earth Day sale, so I haven't picked it up yet, but I definitely will eventually. Uh, I did want to compare that really quickly to this is Zoya Darcy. So you can see that Pippa is a little bit lighter of a yellow. It definitely has some more white in it. Darcy is a little bit darker, a little bit more warm toned, where this is maybe leans more neutral yellow, if that's possible. Um, I actually prefer the formula on Darcy, and I think this, this sort of warmer, Yellow looks a little bit better on me. So a little bit disappointed in Pippa, but I'm glad that I have both. And then again, when I get B, which will be a little even lighter yellow, I think that will make a really cool ombre manicure as well. Next, I picked up Zoya Ireland. Um, so this one was a surprise favorite for me. I really liked how this ended up looking on the nail. I think it's beautiful. I think it's a green, which is my favorite color nail polish, but it's still neutral enough that I can wear it work functions and not feel like it's sticking out like a sore thumb. Um, so I'm going to compare this to, I just have a little mini bottle of Neely. Um, you can see Neely is a lot brighter of a color, even though Neely has a ton of gray in it. Um, Zoya Ireland definitely has more yellow tones, but it's still about the same like color intensity, but I really, really love Zoya Ireland. Next, I picked up Zoya Cara. I guess I don't have to say Zoya, they're all Zoya polishes. So Cara is a nice, beautiful coral color. Um, this is a color that's a little bit outside of my comfort zone. It's not a color I would typically wear, but I'm really excited to try it. I actually have it on my toes right now. Um, I think it's a nice, fun summer color. And just to compare that, I have Wendy that I can show it next to. So. Wendy definitely has a lot more pink. It's a lot paler. So this is Cara and this is Wendy over here. So Cara has more orange tones to it, a little bit more vibrant and brilliant, whereas Wendy is a little bit more pink. I thought Wendy was really, really bright, but once I put it next to Cara, it doesn't look as bright. So next I have a bunch of greens. Like I said, greens is one of my favorite colors to wear. Um, so the first one that I have is called Evie. Um, and this is a nice sort of grayed out bluish green, which I really, really liked. Uh, I actually saw this on Zoya's Instagram feed and I, I knew I had to pick it up. So Zoya Evie. Next I have Dree. So Dree, I was a little bit hesitant to pick up just because I thought it was very similar to ones I already had in my collection, but I'm still happy to have it. So. I'm going to show it here next to Arbor. So you have Arbor and Dree. And you can see Arbor is a lot brighter, a little bit more yellow. I would definitely wear Arbor more in the springtime. And then Dree would be more of like a fall, sort of winding down rainy day sort of olive toned color. And then I got Sean. So Sean has a lot of yellow in it again too. I was hesitant to pick this up because I thought it was going to be very similar to this is Color Club's Tribe and True, but when you look next to him, Tribe and True has a ton more yellow in it. So I'm really excited that I picked up Sean because I do think it is unique in my collection of greens. So Sean and this is Color Club Tried and True. Next one I picked up is Zoya Josie. So uh, again, this is one I was hesitant to pick up because I thought I had something that was similar to it, which is Zoya Ness. Um, I really, really love Zoya Ness, so I decided to just go ahead and pick 
up Josie because I figured if I loved Ness so much, I might as well love Joey too, Josie as well. So you can see Josie has a little bit more yellow into it where Ness is a little bit more cool toned jade green, but they are very, very similar. I don't think you necessarily need both of them unless you love greens. Um, for my preference, I think I actually prefer Ness, which I'm a little surprised at because normally I do prefer prefer a yellower, warmer toned colors, but for my money, I think Ness is a little bit better. Now we have Zoya Hunter. Um, so I've just, this is one that's been on my wish list, wish list for a while because I really wanted a nice, good Hunter Green. I'm just gonna show this next to Joy, Zoya Sean, which I picked up in the same, um, same order, but you can see they're very similar in terms of um, depth of color, but you know, Hunter has a little bit more blue and Sean is a little bit more yellow. So Hunter and Sean. And then the last one that I picked up in the Earth Day sale would be uh, Storm. And I'm not sure that I necessarily would wear black very often, but a lot of people had said that they really liked it. So I thought I would pick it up and try it out. And then I picked up one other polish in the month of April, um, and that was from a D stash, and that is Zoya Cola. Um, so this is a discontinued polish. It's no longer available on Zoya's website, but I really, really wanted it. Um, so Zoya Pepper, which is one of my favorite fall colors to wear. So this is Pepper, and this is Cola. And you can see Cola has a lot more brown to it, even though it's still, I would consider, a brick red. And then we have, this is Alyssa, and this came out in last year's winter collection, I wanna say. This one has a lot more red in it than either of those two. So from this side, we have Cola, in the middle we have Pepper, and then this is Alyssa. So I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing all of the polishes that I picked up in this year's Earth Day sale, and I'm excited for my channel. Um, I plan on doing some more comparison videos. I probably will just do two polishes side by side, for instance, something like Zoe, Z Josie and Ness, and I can show you how those apply and what they look like on the nails side by side. Um, but I don't really have enough of an extensive collection to do like an exhaustive side by side comparison like a walker of all of Av Nails does. So I hope you guys are interested and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye.